In this video, I want to talk about what to do if your camera is not focusing correctly. Now, in a previous video, I showed you how to check your camera's focus. And I'll put a link down below so that you can go back and get that. You can get the sheet that, uh, that you can print off yourself and you can check your camera and lens combination. But what do you do if your camera is not focusing correctly? Well, first you need to know where your camera is focusing and how it's focusing. Is it focusing correctly on the point and just behind? Or is it focusing on the point and forward? Or is it focused way off of where it's supposed to be focused? Depending upon the camera and the lenses that you have, you may have to send your camera and your lens back to the manufacturer and have them adjust it. Sorry, but there's nothing that I can do and that's where you're stuck. But depending upon the camera and the lens that you're using, you may be able to adjust it yourself. So if you have an issue, check to see if your camera has something that's called micro focus fine adjustment. Now that's what they call it in Canon technology, terminology, whatever you want to call it. Nikon may be different. Sony may be different. I don't even know who has it and who doesn't have it because every camera and every camera manufacturer is always switching things around. In Canon, some of their cameras have it and some of their cameras don't. On the Canon line of cameras, the Rebels, unless it's more more recent one, but they do not have that feature. On the 70, 80, 90Ds, I know that the 70D and the 80D and the 90Ds have it, but before the 70s, they don't. On the higher end Canon cameras, I think all of them have it, but it may be the first generation of maybe the five or the six or the seven doesn't, but the more recent generations do. And what does micro focus fine adjustment do? Well, it allows you to change where your focus point is. Now, I'm not going to show you how to do it because it's different on every camera and there's thousands of people who have shown this on different videos. But what I'm going to do is explain what it does. When you take a picture, when you focus on something, your camera should be focusing on where you're putting that focus point. But sometimes what happens is a camera will focus ahead or behind that point. Sometimes a camera will focus on that point and then quite a ways behind, but nothing in front of it. Other times it'll focus on that point and only focus in front, nothing behind. For me, I like it to focus on the point a little bit before and a lot after. That's just the way that I've learned to do it and that's the way that I find it's the best. But if your camera's way off, which it was with my Sigma 150 to 600, the camera and the lens combination was focusing way behind and where my target was, nothing was in focus. So I actually had to bring my focus point all the way back to where the camera thought it was and adjust it from there. Now, if it's in your camera, you can do it there with no problem. Some lenses from uh, Sigma and from Tamron also allows you to do the focusing on their lenses. They have docks that you buy, you put your lens in the dock, you hook it up to your computer, you bring up a program, and then you go through and you can adjust the focus point from there. That allows you to adjust your lens so that you're getting the correct focus for that lens on that camera. Now, should you do it? Yes, I strongly suggest you do. In fact, if you're shooting with a camera and a lens that you cannot adjust yourself, and you are taking pictures and you're serious about photography, I recommend you send it into the manufacturer and have them adjust it. But if you're able to adjust it yourself, I strongly recommend that you adjust it. It makes a world of difference. Now, what lenses have I found that need to be focused? Well, so far in all of my tests and all of the lenses that I've had and everything that people have brought to me, I have never found a Canon prime lens that needed to have that done to it. Canon zoom lenses, um, lenses like the 18 to 55 or the 18 to 135 or whatever the zoom range is, I found probably out of the Canon lenses, probably less than 10% have needed to be adjusted. 
The biggest thing that I find is other manufacturers' lenses used on a Canon camera. A Sigma or a Tamron used on a Canon camera, I find that the focus is generally off the most. Now, I'm not saying on everything, and I'm not saying you have to adjust it on everything. Uh, my 150 to 500 that I used to have, it was perfect. I did a little bit of adjustment on it, but I didn't need to do much. My 150 to 600, I needed to do a lot of focus. So it just depends upon the lens and camera combination. You may have to do it, you may not. The other option that you can do is you can actually live with the focus. If it's focusing on your subject and it's a little bit in front and a lot behind or vice versa, you may just wanna live with that, but get to know where your lens is focusing. So if you have a group of people, you know who you should be focusing on. If you have a subject, you know what part of that subject you should be focusing on. Doing that will help to ensure that you get much, much sharper pictures. And knowing your camera and knowing your lenses will help you to turn your pictures from being acceptable into amazing. So until next time, have a wonderful day. We'll talk to you soon and get out there and take some amazing pictures. Bye-bye now. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please click on the like button, which is the thumbs up button. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please click on the subscribe button and then click on the bell next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified when any new videos are uploaded. Thank you and have a great day.